Anxiety, filling up every space, no privacy. Uh, and silently, it could build and build until you finally see. Whoa, it's taking over. Damn, no closure, moving closer. No exposure, I just wanna be a loner. Uh, some can't stay sober, looking over all their shoulders. Like moving boulders just to get out of the home. It sucks, I've had enough. I don't wanna feel the stuck under the rug. All my problems that I shove. I got nightmares in my head. So hey guys, welcome back to my channel for tutorials. So guys, today I'll teach you how to create new style of abstract art animation with using Element 3D plugin. Guys, it's really best tutorial for beginners. So now guys, I teach you how I create this type of effect. So firstly guys, click on here. That's my new composition check and duration 30 seconds and use full HD frame and press OK. Yeah. And next one guys, I take new solid layer. So layer name same E3D and press OK. So guys, now I apply element 3D plugin. Yeah. And guys, click on here. Screen setup check. Yes. Right. Okay. So guys, now I'm using motion design tool. So guys, click on here. That's a motion design. And guys, go to unmesh. Guys, see that's my different style of abstract shape. So guys, I like this one. Yeah. I like this one. And guys, I change material color so see guys that's my chrome material so i change color so go to on reflectivity so use red color red like this right and guys press ok so guys i apply red color on this one base drag and drop and now guys i change piston color this one so see guys that's my light color so apply to on piston like this simple right See guys, that's my shape and material. Okay, so guys, now I change also size. So guys, select your mesh. And see guys, that's my scale size. Scale size change. Like this. Like a 35% is good. Yes. See guys, I like scale size 35. And guys, next one, I like second shape. So guys, go to on here. Tag compound check. And guys, I like this time this one select yes right okay so guys now I change group so guys click on here that's my group so drag and drop so guys select your tag ring so drag and drop on group 2 see guys that's my group 1 and change group 2 like this right see guys that's my group 2 and next one guys I apply same material red material so apply yeah it's much better right okay so guys also i change same scale size so scale size change actually scale size is good 20 percent yes and guys go to on here aux channel i like one right that's most important part see guys that's my group two and tech ring and see guys that's my aux channel i like one and next one guys i like more rings so guys go to on up so i like this one yes guys same change scale size scale size change like a 75 percent is good yeah and apply red material like this good right okay so guys same select your this one ring and guys aux channel i like one yeah and next one guys so select this tag ring four and duplicate so press ctrl d and increase scale size increase scale size like a 60 percent is good yeah right see guys that's my abstract shape and guys select your tag ring so guys i create rename like a go to on here and tag ring to yes and guys i apply this time change this one so channel 2 yes right see guys that's my channel 1 and channel 1 and bigger ring i use channel 2 yes that's it guys and that's my channel 1 first layer like this yeah that's it guys okay so guys my composition is finished that's my group 1 and group 2 like this okay so guys next one i change environment texture environment texture check see guys that's my lots of sdri material texture so guys, I like this one and change little bit environment brightness like a 10. 
yeah and guys see that's my lighting i use aqua light okay see guys that's my final shape is finished it's looking really good and guys press ok yeah and guys i take camera camera check and guys closer so press c letter and closer and guys rotate like this yeah little bit down yeah and fit 200 percent check yes okay so guys select your e3d layer and see guys that's my group one so guys go to one particle repeat it and guys count i like 20 and shape i use ring yes and guys i change also scale size see guys that's my scale size like a four yes and little bit increase height this one that's my first shape and height increase yeah like a 400 420 also good yes that's it guys right okay so guys now i also create shape scale size animation that's my shape scale check and go to on last like a 30 and like a 5 yes that's it guys right and guys i change scale size so little bit back and down yeah and guys again go to back and play yes okay so guys next one i create rotation animation so guys go to on particle look that's my group one particle look and go to on here that's my particle rotation yes and guys go to on zero frame and guys x y z check and guys go to like a five second actually 30 second and last frame like a five particle five and guys last one five yes and guys go to back and play yeah see guys that's my beautiful rotation animation it's looking really good right okay so guys my first animation is finished now second one i create this base rotation effect okay so guys all is good and now guys go to on here that's my group two and guys aux aux channel check and see guys that's my aux first channel one and rotation guys rotation like this that's my inner part so zero and check on zero frame and guys last 30 second and i take 20 enter yes and guys go to back and play yeah see guys that's my first ring first moving ring and next one guys i create upper moving ring so guys stop and go to back and guys aux channel 2 that's my channel 2 and rotation check and same guys that's my outer ring so check and guys lastly but guys this time rotation i like only 10 yes that's it guys okay so guys go to back and now guys play see guys that's my really cool animation right it's looking really good okay so guys all is good my animation is finished now i apply light and guys depth of field so guys go to on e3d layer and guys go to on render setting and lighting i use same aqua light aqua yeah and guys mb occlusion check and guys quality i use high and radius i like two yeah that's it guys right and guys physical environment check guys little bit increase like a exposure 1.2 for more lighting yeah and guys all is good now guys i create some rotation animation so guys this time i take null object and guys null object check 3d and guys select your camera and connect with null object one like this and press r see guys that's my rotation and guys rotation change so z1 change like this yeah it's good and guys see that's my minus 35 minus 35 and go to on zero frame and z rotation check guys i go to like a 15 second 15 and guys rotation like a 30 yes and guys lastly 
and same minus 30 yeah and guys go to back and play yes see guys that's my also camera movement animation right it's take a little bit time for preview so guys go to back and one more time play yeah much better right okay so guys my camera movement animation is finished next one i apply glow effect so guys for glow and guys go to on e3d layer press ctrl d and guys rename like a e3d glow yeah so guys select your e3d glow go to on output and use emulation like this and guys i change mode so use add and guys this time i apply glow effect on this one glow e3d glow so guys effect and presets and type glow and apply to on second layer like a threshold 100 100 and intensity i like 2 yes and duplicate this glow so press ctrl d and radius i like 300 and guys intensity i like 1 yeah much better and lastly guys i like this time exposure select exposure for glow effect and exposure amount like a 0 0.5 is good for me yeah it's looking really good right see guys that's my beautiful lighting right okay so guys lastly i also apply optical flare so guys i use solid layer so like a light and guys this time i apply optical flare optical flare check and guys go to an option guys you can apply any presets so guys select and see guys that's my different different style of lighting so select this one and import so guys go to on here yes and guys same mode add and guys you can also change brightness like a 75 is also good right okay see guys that's my really cool lighting and next one guys you can also apply one more optical flare light like a light to enter and guys same optical flare and option check and guys go to on presets so presets change so go to back yeah like this and import yeah and guys go to on here on base yes and guys change mode use add yes that's it guys right see guys that's my beautiful lighting and beautiful effect so guys go to on preview preview check yes that's it guys it's looking really good and fit to 100 percent check and also guys lastly you can also apply depth of field effect for more realistic view so guys go to on camera and guys go to on camera option check i see that's my depth of field effect and depth of field on and aperture i like 100 yes and guys focus distance change manually like a 1000 yes guys more like a one two double zero yeah see guys that's my depth of field effect it's looking really beautiful and guys again go to back and play yes okay so guys that's it my final work is finished so guys if you like my video please share and please subscribe my youtube channel thank you